young people's confidence in us, in their communities, in their schools, uh, in their countries, um, because we wanted to know whether or not they were confident that we, their schools, the institutions, their communities, were going to do, be doing for them what is going to help them move forward. There was this um, finding that young people think they can change the world, but are unsure about what the heck they could accomplish in their local school or community. More than half the response were unsure about what's going to happen to them in the next five years and whether or not Peterborough would be a better place to live. And only 20% speculated that it would, would improve in our community. The immigrant youth's perspective on what community um, engagement was, uh, their idea of civic engagement is slightly different than those who are Canadian born. For the focus group youth, they had great ideas about how they want to participate, but they don't really see the access point. They're not really sure how they can get their foot in the door. And they also talked uh, talked about how they don't believe that the school is preparing them for their futures. Our follow-up in Hamilton is going to be a, a, the development of a, a resource that will help connect um, young people to some of the youth uh, social change tables that exist in the community. Through the Youth Leaders and Community Project, it's a three-year endeavor to uh, work with youth um, and help them uh, build and increase their understanding of what civic engagement is and how they can individually and collectively affect uh, positive change. What we are trying to do is work with the four school boards that were engaged in this, in this study and promote opportunities to work to bridge that disconnect between the school and community. I'm going to ask you one question, it's a really simple question, is what's your advice to schools, to community leaders, what's your advice to them on how to build confidence? Communities to have more programs or activities that kids can do that they can actually afford. Goals should uh, concentrate more on uh, building leadership skills. Um, especially for kids who don't really have uh, the opportunity to um, acquire leadership skills at other places. We came to a consensus that every job and every career that you go into, you would be able to get a good paying job out of it, then people would have that confidence and they would say, yes, I am an artist, I don't care what society says.